right, here we go with the Peach Pit. Uh, who remembers that TV show and what that one's from? I'm almost embarrassed to say I never missed a week of it when it was on. Uh, anywho, uh, let's get into this. This is actually our at-home version of 20.4. This is our equipment version. Um, there is a lot going on here in this workout. And so I'm going to explain the movements. You are definitely going to want to write this one out because there's a lot to keep track of. There is a 20 minute time cap on this workout, meaning you will put 20 minutes on the clock and get that clock counting up to 20 minutes. And the goal here is to get all that work done before that buzzer goes in 20 minutes, okay? So uh, what this one's going to be comprised of is box jumps and then uh, dumbbell clean and jerks, right? Um, and what you'll see is that there's a, a change in rep counts as we work our way through it. So if I can say it all here in the video and it's not gonna matter, you're gonna need to write this one out. Really, what I wanna do here is just kinda go through our movements today, okay? So we would start it out with our box jumps, right? So in that first round with 30 box jumps, biggest thing here, it's pace, okay? If you come out hot in this workout, and I mean like with your hair on fire, it's gonna go bad fast. Your legs are gonna get fatigued. So all my new people out there that have their plyo boxes, this is gonna be fantastic. Uh, we're here, right? So we're 30 box jumps. We're here and we're trying to land as soft as we can. We get to that top and we open up those hips fully and we always step down. Never rebound. And when I say rebound, I mean jump down. That's how we can risk uh, tearing an ACL. An at-home workout, I, I don't care about the 20 minute time cap if it means injury. Okay, so always step down. Always, always, always step down. Um, so we're gonna work our way through 30 box jumps, okay? As soon as you're done that, you're gonna come to your dumbbells, right? And we're gonna work through our clean and jerks. So we're here from the ground, right? So tall chest, neutral spine, work to our shoulders. They pause at the shoulders ever so briefly, and we're jerking them overhead, okay? Now, for that rep to finish, those dumbbells have to be overhead and they have to be in line with your head, okay? So when I say in line with your head, I mean, like that's not a jerk, okay? They've got to go overhead, all right? So you almost want to think about getting those arms locked by your ears. So we would work our way through 15 reps. Biggest thing, use those legs, right? Don't turn those into what we don't want to do is turn them into curls and then push presses, right? We want to be here, right? And that's your jerk, okay? After we've done that, we would go right back into our box jumps, another 30 box jumps, and then another 15 double dumbbell uh, clean and jerks, okay? So we're gonna do a few rounds of that. We do three rounds of that, and then we're gonna transition to pistols, okay? So after you've done three rounds, of those box jumps and clean and jerks, you will then be staring 20 pistols in the face, okay? So pistols, we showed you pistols on Thursday as kind of your practice uh, to do some builders on those. And I sure hope I saw, see some videos. Uh, so our pistols, right, we're here and we're down the depth, right? And we're standing those up and we would just be alternating those reps through. Now, if you don't have pistols, this might be a great workout to transition those into flamingos, right? So we're here to depth, we're standing that up, right? Getting our depth and going through 20 flamingos, okay? So, or if we have to, we can go to something low and we could just do our transition single leg squats to a box. I would take something lower than that so I know I'm working on that strength of getting those hips to that knee crease because that is where your rep happens. That rep happens when the hip gets to the knee crease and you keep that heel on the ground, okay? So you do your pistols, you would transition back into more clean and jerks and it's, you'll see that it's a declining number of reps. It looks, it, it's, there's a lot of work there, okay? Especially once we start getting into that single leg work, your legs are gonna get tired after almost 100 box jumps in that. So again, it's more about methodical. There's, you can't come out fast on this one. 
It's about setting a pace and maintaining a consistent pace, especially with those box jumps. Good luck. Know you got this one. Can't wait to see if we get some people beating our time cap.